Dude, what are we doing back here? Summer literally felt like a long weekend. Anywho, yep, we are back. My name is Jesse Bao with the, with the LPHS 2021-22 newscast team. That's right, Jesse. I'm Gus Hammond, and this is your newscast. Well, we got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. We now head out to the man in the field. Max, how goes it with Dr. Shipman? I love that guy. Nice, Gus. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. And now we're going to go live to an interview with Dr. Shipman for more information on the progress of the construction. Hey, Dr. Shipman, how are you doing today? Yeah, well, thanks, uh, Max, for asking me to participate in this <clears throat> um, interview. I'd love to talk about, about the new facility. Good to hear. So we just wanted to get some information from you about the construction project that's been going on for the last six months or so. We've got a pretty intense line of questioning for you here. To start off, we just wanted to ask about the different phases. We were hoping that you could outline the various phases of the project one more time to refresh what we talked about last year. Oh, that's a great question. Um, so the project is really two phases. First phase is what we see outside right now, and that's the all-weather track and artificial turf field. In January, maybe maybe even as soon as December, <coughs> is you know also part of our campus expansion, and that's going to be through out the front of the building towards next to the library there, kind of towards the current um, street is going to be a new career and tech ed center and also an area for art and music. The back connected to our current gym is going to be another gym that will allow us uh, about a thousand seat occupancy as well as an opportunity not just for sports to have bigger events on campus. It's going to be very high tech. There will be additional parking put in and then traffic from bus traffic, pickup drop off traffic, all traffic on campus is going to experience a, a change as, as part of phase two of the project. Okay, that's good to know. Turns out they aren't just moving dirt around, huh? Anyways, now that the field is mostly completed, what will be the next phase of the construction to break ground? Yeah, so now now that the, the field's mostly completed, um, the next phase is going to be set to break ground probably in April, um, you know, sooner depending on weather. That piece of the project, phase two, is going to go to uh, bid in December, January, and then, you know, contractors will mobilize and, and hopefully we can break ground um, in January. Uh, so, you know, phase, phase one, the expected date of completion is, uh, you know, soon. They're going to turn it over completely to us sometime mid to late October. That will be fencing, um, grass planted, uh, you know, landscaping done around the around the field, um, and then phase two, the CTE building, as well as the additional athletic indoor athletic facility. Um, we're looking at an August 2023 opening. So, for the class of 2024. Um, They'll, they'll be the first seniors to to inhabit that space um, instructionally and, and athletically. Okay, thanks to Dr. Shipman for taking time out of his busy schedule to talk to me. Sending it back to you now, Gus. Well, thanks, Max. Hey, Jesse, why was the construction worker let out of court? Why, Gus? There wasn't any concrete evidence. Wow, really impressive. Let's move on from that and talk about some sports. I know! How about our student section? Like, we have been killing it. You guys really have, and we appreciate it so much. So keep up the good energy throughout this weekend homecoming. Now let's send it to Max with sports. Whoa! Whoa! Abby, what are you doing? Put me down! Oh, this is kind of cool. I've never gone flying before. Oh. Okay. We're back. Thanks, guys. It's been a roller coaster ride for sports within the district this week. Started out on Thursday with our soccer team taking two tough losses to Park High School. Then, on Friday, the volleyball team beat the Lima Bears in straight sets. You know what? Let's go talk to Maddie Cohn right now about the rest of their season. Volleyball star Maddie Cohn, you took the team farther than any Lone Peak High School sports team has ever gone. What are you doing this year to keep up that success? Obviously been very different since uh, we lost a bunch of seniors and we have a new coach this year. Uh, however, we've been putting in a lot of work and we have 
uh, abundance of new young talent that has helped us win a bunch of games this year. And I just think our hard work will eventually pay off in the end and we'll win the games when it counts. Thanks, Maddie. Now, continuing the trend of winning, both the boys and girls soccer teams made history on Friday. The boys beat Lockwood 10-0 by way of mercy rule as the first Class C team to ever mercy an A team in soccer. The girls also secured their very first conference win with a 4-1 win against Lockwood. Now, let's go down to a reporter in the field and talk to Avery Dickerson. I'm here with soccer star and team leader Avery Dickerson after the Lone Peak High School girls soccer team won their first conference game. How did that win feel? Um, it felt good to finally get a conference win and it's a long time coming. How do you think that this win will affect the team in the future? I think it helped build our team's confidence and we're ready to take on some of the best teams in the state this week. Thanks, Max. Remember folks, Senior Night is next Thursday, October 7th. 7th, sorry, for the LPHS soccer team and on Friday the 8th for the football team. I'm now going to send it over to Max, I guess, for everybody's favorite segment, the second annual Max versus World. Hey, don't worry, I'm not on one, okay? Three, two, one. Wow, okay, well, not a great way to start the year. Well, that officially makes the count max zero, world two. Back to you guys now. Let's move on to some fun stuff, shall we? Lone Peak High School's homecoming week is right around the corner. Next week, actually. Sure is. And the order for that spirit week is Monday, which is class colors, Tuesday, which is pajama day, Wednesday, which is tropical day, and Thursday, which is dynamic duo day, and finally Friday, which is blackout day. I expect all of you to be dressed up. I'm super excited to dress up. Anyway, we got our football team playing Ennis on Friday, October 8th at 7 p.m. Let's get a crowd for that one. Next, we got my girls, the volleyball team, playing Harrison, also on that day at 5 p.m. I hope everyone shows up to that. And finally, we got both our soccer teams, boys, playing at 3 p.m. on Saturday, and the girls are playing at 5 on the same day. That is right, and that is also the soccer games are the same day as our homecoming dance. I hope you all get a date for that one. I'm going to be doing some groovy dancing myself. And speaking of that, the theme of that dance is neon. Can't wait for that. Time for a new segment with our weatherman, introducing the newbie, Ron Burgundy. Thanks, Gus and Jesse. My name is Ron Burgundy with your new weather report, and this is the new segment we like to call Ron Burgundy Walks in the Woods and Describes What He Sees. Ah, the leaves are changing colors. That's what happens in the fall. There's cloud in the sky. It might rain. Yes, it is getting chillier. We are getting closer to winter. Thanks. Stay classy, San Diego. Back to you, Max and Gus. Thanks, Ron. Wait, what's that? We have a breaking news segment coming in right now? Oh my god. Wow, this just in. About this new this year's yearbook club. Let's go to Mr. Soy Kelly. Hey, jobs uh, and tasks for people will be doing um, in the yearbook club. So this year, um, we do have a little more hierarchy than we've had before. Um, so Charlie Sue Dreisbach will be our chief editor. And then she kind of delegates who is going to be doing what um, within the book, developing different teams. So there'll be a photography team, there'll be a writing team, and there'll be a design team. Well, that just about wraps it up, folks. We will see you all next time at next month's newscast. I'm Jesse Bow. And I'm Gus Hammond. Bye. Bye.